Hello everybody. Hello. <laughs> I'm Tom Bissonette and uh, I'm going to be doing some training today on a new developmental model uh, that is part of what we offer at Young and Wiser Inc. Uh, in a nutshell, our organization provides life education for adolescents and young adults. And uh, today you're going to go through some training so that you'll have a better understanding of, of uh, the development of young people and all the different challenges that they face. I certainly encourage you to ask questions or make comments if you think of anything that you think is important to add. And uh, uh, you'll be introduced to some new terms today. And I want you to sort of burn these in your brain because these, these are uh, sort of a, a great lens to look at human development through. I added uh, some elements to it that I think really not only tell you how young people develop, but what you can do if you're in a position to help young people to help them through some of the rough spots in their development. Okay, the first word I want you to be familiar with is asynchrony. And what is it when you put an A in front of something, it means no. not. Very good. So not synchronous. So I want you to remember that development, human development, is asynchronous. It's not in sync. And if you were to compare two adolescents to one another, you would find that they aren't exactly synchronized with one another in their development. But uh, the discovery I made from teaching a course on uh, adolescent development for many years is that individuals themselves have asynchronous development. So we can uh, be ahead of our peers in one area, but behind our peers in other areas. And so today we're going to talk about what that looks like and what it means in terms of uh, uh, what kind of pressures a young person is going to feel and how they might respond to those pressures. Okay, so on the board we have several different um, aspects of development that, that everybody goes through, starting with physical development. And by physical development here we're talking about biology. We're talking about uh, reaching puberty and all the physical changes that go along with that. And um, we're talking about uh, whether an adolescent uh, is ahead or behind their peers and how they feel about that. We're going to be covering that later. Uh, this, if, if you need clarification on any of these, just please jump in. The second is emotional development. And sort of the, put in, a, uh, in short, I would say coping skills. How do we react to things? How well do we respond emotionally? Uh, can we have intense emotions and still solve problems and respond uh, effectively to situations. Cognitive <laughs> development has to do with uh, basically the level of complexity in our thinking. Can we solve difficult problems? Uh, can we do abstract thinking? Can we think about concepts and apply them to the real world? So that's our cognitive development. 